Hello, it's Sunday and it's in the middle of May. Ruby and I are actually trying to have a day off, but to be honest with you, you couldn't possibly feel like you're working when you're up here at Tin Fruid. We've just driven up the lanes for about two and a half miles off the main road. We're now over 400 feet up in the northern Rinog Mountains. We've got natural scenery, peace and quiet all around us. All I can hear is birds, streams trickling and sheep bleating. It's beautiful here. The drive on the way up here is just as nice with views out over the estuary, more views out over the Moyle Winds, Connacht and even Snowdon itself and then carry on going up the lane, come to a beautiful lake, cross the cattle grid and eventually you get here. It's beautiful, carry on watching and I'll show you around. Now if you could wake her up, Ruby would even tell you that cottages like this, set in the countryside, in unmodernised condition, are few and far between, wherever you look now. So we've got roses round the entrance door. I'm expecting people to travel from all four corners of the UK to come and see this property and I don't want people to waste their time. You've got to remember, in a property like this there are compromises to be made. If you're worried about damp, woodworm, bad electrics, rights away and things, then you may be a bit scared off of this one. But for those who are prepared to make the compromises, I love the bohemian appeal and the countryside environment and are prepared to roll up their sleeves and make this home their own, it's going to be an absolute dream come true for somebody here. Let's go in and I'll show you around. I'll take you in through the kitchen door here and to me it's like walking into Pogel's wood or something. As we go in, the kitchen's got a tiled floor, it's got this Rayburn stove which is going to be the heart of the home. There's also some electric storage heaters for warmth as well. It feels so snug in here, the beamed ceiling, natural wood fitted kitchen. But if you're expecting any concessions to modern building regs, I'm afraid the staircase is probably really like a glorified ladder. Now I absolutely love the Bakelite toggle switches, but really and truly the electric system is more like extension leads off extension leads. Practicalities are not what this place is all about and you're really only going to appreciate it once you get here. It's just wonderful just to be inside this cottage. Right above the kitchen these stairs take you up to the main bedroom. It's got an appeal all of its own in here and it would really be a shame to change anything. Although I suspect that the person who buys it has enough money they might actually change everything. There's a hall at the rear off the kitchen that leads to the lounge and this other ladder, I won't call it a staircase, leads to the second bedroom. The dormer window from this bedroom looks out down onto the garden. And this hole in the wall, got a special lock on it, opens up, there's another loft area in here. Back on the ground floor below the loft area, there's the main lounge here got a really good open fireplace with wood burner. Again, it's got a tiled floor and another front entrance door. The damp looks a lot worse than it really is in here because unfortunately there was a bit of a freeze up over the winter and the header tank burst, which caused a bad flood. The plumbing's now fixed and it's all drying out. Open plan to the lounge area, there's this nice study area as well. At the back of the lounge is this lean-to utility and bathroom area. It's all pretty basic in here and I suspect that this used to be the kitchen at one time but the current owner has actually had some really good plans drawn up for a big extension at the back here and that would transform the layout of the whole property. So that's the inside of Tin Fruid for you. Outside we've got a front garden here. There's a private drainage septic tank beneath the front garden at the far end there. We've also got a private water supply for the property. Let's go round and I'll show you the back garden round this way. Come on Rube, let's go. You'll see that we've got this five bar gate on the left hand side of the cottage which leads to an off-road parking space for you. On the left of that there's a public footpath here and this leads you around to the back garden. We go through this gate with the footpath sign on, into the back garden and up the hill. 
Now I know this footpath will probably worry some people, but quite honestly, I don't think you can expect hundreds of people passing up through here on a regular basis at all. And as if it wasn't good enough having a front garden like there is here, this back garden is another little paradise. And the marvellous thing is, at the top of the garden, the footpath leads through this little kissing gate, and then you also get access to the fabulous countryside up the hill here. Come on, Rube, let's go and have a look. Off you go then. We really are only about 100 metres up the hill from the back garden gate of Tinfruid. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, lots of bird song and everything. And I was up here about eight days ago with local uh, wildlife expert, Brian McDonald. And I said to Brian, you know, I've heard cuckoos, but I've never seen them before. Straight away, Brian pointed out two cuckoos for me, both together. It's amazing up here. Now, if you want to live out in the country, this is gonna have to be top of your list, I think, but you do have to be prepared to compromise on the condition of the property. I think it'd be a shame to change it. Unfortunately, I think probably the next owner probably will make their own improvements to some extent, but I just hope that they don't rip the soul out of the place because it really is something else. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to come and have a look at the property yourself, or you'd like to sell your own property using a video like this, please give us a call on the usual number. That's 01341 281 599. And at the end of this video, there'll be a little link with a picture of all of us. And if you click on that link and subscribe to Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube channel, that means that you'll get updated with future videos and new properties that come on our books fairly promptly. So thanks very much for watching all this. I'm Andy Sanderson. This is Ruby. Hope to see you up here soon, but bye-bye for now. Oh,